Okay, so here I am, one Roman knight in the hold of a pirate ship. You might be asking, how did you get here? Well... First, I hit the streets to find out where the pirates went. They grabbed a bow and rode in that direction and stole my chicken too! They stole your dinner? My pet chicken, Gloria! I could never eat her, you monster! Sorry, my bad. Then, I gathered supplies. Here you go, miss. But what do you need with a rope, a grappling hook, and skin-tight black clothing? And can I come? Bless you. Not today. And then I swam, and swam, and swam some more, until I got to the ship. And then it took me, hmm, three tries to get the grappling hook up over the side. Then finally, I was aboard. I tried to catch my breath for a quick second, but I knocked the pirate out. Grappling hooks have so many uses. Then I went in search of the hostages. And that's how I found... Me? Yes, Lepidus, that's how I found you. And thank goodness you've come. Why? What's happening? They forgot to include the plum sauce with my supper. If these pirates must fatten me up, I do wish they'd do it properly. Fatten you up? They're not cannibals. Ah, you say that, my dear, but seawater does funny things to the mind. I should know. I've been drinking it for an hour. Where are the others? Where's Octavia? Hmm? Oh, no idea. Uh, The pirate threw me into this cage, gave me some cushions, and I've just been sitting here waiting to be rescued. And eating strawberries. Mm. 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 It's absolute torture. I have to find Octavia. But what about me? I'll come back for you. I promise. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Ah. Would you believe I'm a member of the crew that you haven't noticed before? Come here. I think the captain will want to talk to you. Will presents Cry Havoc. Ask questions later. Episode 11 Workshop. Keeping Pompey and the pirates busy, I get off my raft, swim to the ship's stern, clamber up the hull and find the hostages. Then, I sneak them off the boat and sail away to safety. Job done! What about Gaius? Eh? Oh, he can fend for himself. Thanks. Darling, we've gone through every daring rescue attempt there could possibly be, and while I love your optimism... I've also got this one where I'm lowered from above and they think I'm a god. We'll need scaffolding. In the sea! For goodness sake! Could we try and stay calm, please? Hello, everyone. You're right. What now, Mother? Seeing as how the night's getting on, I thought I'd mix you up a few drinks to keep you all going. Finally! She does something useful. (coughs) What is this? Posca. It's sour wine mixed with lots of vinegar... I know how to make Posca. Well, it's an energy drink, isn't it? You need to stay awake. Oh, yeah. And you need to get Darling, no. Remember what she did to you last time. And I do it again. It's dead of night and we still haven't got a plan worth a damn. If your sister hadn't bloody well got herself kidnapped. My sister? What about your son? He was lured into that cesspit of a theatre by your sister. And look what happened to him. My poor boy. My precious son and heir. I had no idea you felt that way about him. I'm quite touched. Just because I don't coddle the boy doesn't mean I don't love him. To be fair, one's children can be very disappointing. That's no way to talk about Octavia. I wasn't. (sighs) You two won't like hearing this, but I think you should consider Cleopatra. 
ask for her help with the hostages. I beg your pardon? I'd rather die. With our army still effectively on strike, she's the only one with the means to handle a pirate vessel. Or enough cash to handle a ransom. Absolutely not. Give her an inch and we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, I'm sure she can be reasonable and she's quite pleasant company. Very pleasant, actually. You were. I should have to say these words, but I agree with Mark. Reaching out to Cleopatra now would fatally undermine our negotiations. She's running rings around you as it is. Yes, thank you. So we're agreed. No Cleopatra. That's a shame, because she'll be here at any moment. What? What? Well, hello, everybody. I hear you're having a few problems. Let's see what we can do. Sextus, you rogue. You're despicable, dishonest, and devious. You forgot debonair. Have it, you. Swish, swish, swish. And the senator's toga falls down. Ah, it's chilly. And Sextus scoops Talia up in his arms. I told you we should have gone back to my place. Better late than never. Take me to your ship. Your wish is my command, lady. And they leap over the balcony, rappel down the wall, and escape into the night. End of Act One. Woo woo woo! Bravo! Bravo! Now that is a play. You like the changes? Yes! I may come off as bloodthirsty in real life, but I'm really more of an intelligent scoundrel. You'll still be defeated at the end. Got to write for your audience some of the time. Oh, yeah, sure, absolutely, but at least I escaped to fight another day with a parting quip. One for all and all for me! <laughs> That's it. And Antilus, your acting is really coming along. You even scared me at times. It's being around you, I guess. It helps me get into character. <laughs> Tell you what, go and help yourself to a bottle of my best grog. Thanks, Captain. Any other notes? Uh, there's the line on page 15 about me ravishing a fair maiden. Oh, yes. It's just, I would never ravish a woman without her enthusiastic consent. And believe me, consent is always enthusiastic. <laughs> I'll bet. So I should make it clear that the fair maiden wants to follow you into your den of sin. Exactly. And then we get a ravish on. Actually, I was going to ask if you fancied a quick one. Ah, thanks for the offer. But I'm only into women. Oh, fair. Say no more. Well, actually, ah, tell me everything. <laughs> There's not much to tell. I used to cut a sway through Rome, but recently... Go on. There's... There's been someone... I've wanted to focus on more exclusively. Which is kind of new for me. Wow. I've never met a girl who made me want to settle for monogamy. I know, I hardly recognise myself. We haven't even... Well, anything together. But I really like this girl. She's charming, sensitive, thoughtful. And an amazing actress. You should have seen her in my last play. Right. Talent is sexy. The problem is... I can't tell if she feels the same way about me. Come on, just ask. It's not that simple. I'm me, and this woman is a commoner. Is that all? Listen, if this girl makes you feel like this, there's nothing common about her. Besides, I've got loads of tips for connecting with the poor folk. Do you really? Yes. Can't get enough of me. I'm sure you've heard the shanties. Oh, oh, what's the one that goes something like... um, the dread pirate Sextus is truly the bestest. Even though of our good he is want to divest us. Gosh, those shanties are a big mouthful, aren't they? Antilus! <coughs> God, this grog pack's a bunch. Aye, right, I'll put hairs on your chest. Mind you, I heard how you stood up to my crew when they acquired Octavia in the theatre. That's one way of putting it. Very impressive, lad. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye. Wow. I don't think I've ever impressed anyone before. (sighs) We were just indulging in a spot of karaoke. Do you want in? Do I? Blimey, this pirate cruise could actually do you some good. Excuse me, Captain. Oh, now, Gracchus, we're about to have a sing-song. Pardon the interruption, but you've got an unexpected visitor in the hold. I'd rather Your Majesty, stuff a tree up my ass and pretend to be a forest than let it... Enough! It's clear to anyone with half a brain that you haven't any solution for the hostage crisis. We've got some ideas in the works. Yes, we got up to let's rescue them and then came up short. Mother! All right, I'm going. 
Cleopatra, dear, would you like an energy drink? Say no. I'm fine. Thank you, Atia. If you can simply admit that you need my help, then we could get on with saving some lives. No! I don't need to bargain with Egypt in order to rescue my son. Mark, don't be so pig-headed. In exchange for renewed recognition of my dynasty's rights, and let's throw in Armenia while we're at it... That's the whole country! Egypt can easily provide the ransom money for you. Of course, I could always summon a navy to destroy the pirates instead, though there's no guarantee your hostages would still be alive by then. Your terms are unacceptable. My terms are the best you have. Look around, Caesar. Open your eyes, Mark. You have no money. You have no men. We're going around in circles because you refuse to accept the truth that's right in front of you. Which is that not only am I your best option, I am your only option. But I... I... Fulvia! Do you see what you've done? You've let a viper into our midst. A viper who can deal with pirates. Rome can deal with pirates. Just not right now. Well, Caesar, what do you say? Gaius, I see little choice but to accept your offer. What? Finally. However, we'll have to run it by the Senate. We'll convene first thing in the morning. Oh, really? come on. You can't wait that long. The pirates could be slicing them up for sport this very moment. Yeah, whatever we do, it has to be now. Antonis and Octavia need us. And Lepidus. Who? Oh, yeah. Him too. I'll send a messenger to summon the Senate as soon as possible, but I can't allow such a monumental decision to be made without approval. Jove in the heavens, you don't need the Senate. You're a triumvir. But not a dictator. I will not make the mistakes that Julius made. I'm sorry. There's a proper way of doing things, even when family's involved. Gaius, you're going to get them killed. Gaius! Ah! Oh, you Romans are so inflexible. In Horace's name, how did you manage to take over the world? By accident, mostly. So, you're my visitor. And you're my jailer. Good to meet you, Captain. I'd get up, but... I'm sorry it took so long to drop by. It's a busy job running a piracy enterprise. The boys been shooting you all right? Yes. They've made it quite clear that it would be futile to escape. And the weapons I was shown were very threatening. I'm thrilled to hear it. Now, you know I'm the Dread Pirate Sexist, so let's cut to the chase. Who are you and why are you here? That's a long story. Start with your name. What is it? Mia. That sounded like a fib. More like a stage name. The stage? You don't happen to know an Octavia by any chance? What? Where is she? Is she alive? What's it to you? If you've hurt her, I'll put out your eyes and feed them to the jackals. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> are you the commoner? What? Sorry, sorry, I meant, are you the woman that Octavia has been so taken with? You are, aren't you? She's taken with me? No. Really? I mean, I mean, what have you heard? Tell me everything. Omit no details. Well, <clears throat> far be it for me to betray a confidence, but let's just say you're living rent-free in that lass's head right now. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And it warms the heart to see her feelings are reciprocated. Oh, shut up! What, what do you mean? Come on. You came here to rescue her. Admit it. Maybe. <laughs> this is beautiful. A love story for the ages happening on my ship. Well, hold on there. Love seems too soon to be using that word. Octavia and me are sitting in a tree. Stop it! I recognise the symptoms. Desperate acts, stars in the eyes. The same look I see on the faces of the women I leave behind at every port. And the men, actually. Well, let's get you out of those chains. You're setting me free? You're still a hostage. Don't get me wrong, but it's pretty chill, at least, if you're part of the cool hostage group. Who's in the uncool hostage group? Lepidus. Hmm. Nice guy, but he's just for small doses, you know? Now come on, let's get you in with the rest of the gang. (laughs) 
There's no place like it, not remotely is there like it. There's no place like Rome. Gods, if you can dance too, you'd be a triple threat. Maybe I could write a story told entirely through songs. Nah, musical theatre, that'll never take off. Yeah, and Dad's mad enough that I want to be in the theatre without me singing on stage as well. Really? He never struck me as such a stick in the mud. He wants me to be a soldier, you know, take after him. But I'm just not made for that. Does he put you down? No, it's just that... I can tell I'm disappointing him. You're sensitive. He isn't. All the kids at school used to tease me, push me around. Dad said I should show them who's boss, but it's not my style, you know? You know what I do when my brother criticises me? What? Well, I ignore him. But then I work out my frustration on the page. Yeah? Pour that into your art, Antilus. Let it power your performances. Whatever those twats at school used to say, make that criticism work for you. We'll all support you. I've never really had friends before. You do now, Antilus. Thanks. Octavia, I found somebody else who wants to be in your play. Who do you... Mia? Octavia! Oh, you're really okay. Mia, I can't believe it's you. What on earth are you doing here? Trying to rescue you. And the others, obviously. How's that working out for you? Well, I got captured, so not so well. <sighs> but we all appreciate the effort, eh, lass? Tell you what, why don't you grab a drink over there and relax? My bosun mixes a mean cocktail. Antelus will show you. Sure. If I'm going to be stuck here a while, don't mind if I do. Octavia, it really is... I mean... Seeing you again is, is, is great. You too. I don't get it. She came out all this way to rescue us. By herself? That's the girl, isn't it? The one who makes you weak at the knees. Was it that obvious? As obvious as the way she feels about you. What? No, really. She swam all the way here to rescue you. Swam. With a grappling hook. Oh my god. I'm pleased for you. Too late. It'll be good for you to have somebody during the who knows how long you'll be on this ship. <laughs> yeah, but... It's not like you plan to hold us forever, though, right? You're not like all the pirates. You're a cool pirate. Yeah, no, totally. But that doesn't mean I'm soft. I've got a reputation to maintain. What does that mean? Surely I don't need to explain how a ransom works. Yours is due midday tomorrow. If I don't get paid, you get waylaid. Permanent addition to my merry crew. I really thought you would let us go. Octavia, darling, nobody leaves this ship without my say-so. That's just how it is. After all, I am the dread pirate Sextus. Mark? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Your wife suggested we might have a word together. Meddling again. For some reason she speaks of you very highly. You're a lucky man. Oh yeah. She's amazing. Big fan. Your colleague is beginning to ride my final nerve. Ha! <laughs> you and me both. Oh yes? He's always pointing out problems like running things past the Senate by never pointing out solutions like screwing the Senate and, and doing, doing what, what we, we want, want anyway. anyway. Exactly. You get it. You totally get it. Not bad for a viper, eh? Yeah, well, <laughs> that was when I didn't know you had the measure of Gaius. He's a fat head. The fattest head. He thinks he knows it all. But it's all up there and nothing in here. All brain and no heart makes for an excellent advisor, but... No leader. Hmm. I won run for us single-handedly while Guy's hid in tents with his little parchments. When it comes down to it, he's not a man of action, but I am. Is that so? If it were up to me, we wouldn't be sitting around here waiting for our family to get butchered by pirates. But it is up to you, isn't it? Listen, 
I didn't want to admit it before, but we need your money. We do. I just want to be the one to rescue my son. There's no reason that can't still happen. Oh, yeah? If we put our minds to thinking up a plan, then don't let the fathead stop us from carrying it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting along, are we? Hmm. I'm as disturbed as you are. Let's not make a habit of it. You know, guys, if you can't throw your weight around and show a bit of leadership, then you ought to step aside for someone who can. The last man who threw his weight around with the Senate got stabbed to death by that same Senate. So you're scared, basically. Well, prudence is an important quality of leadership, that's all. A little caution goes a long way. And too much of it goes absolutely nowhere. Ah, there you two are. You two finished complaining about me. Just about. You'll be pleased to know that we're able to convene the Senate earlier than anticipated. So, we should know where we are and- Don't need them, mate. Sorry, what? We don't need them. While they all get a good nice kip, we're going to act and save those hostages. But we haven't got a plan. Oh yes, we have. We've come up with a proposition for you. We? we? You mean the two of you? <laughs> Indeed. It's not going to be easy. But we believe it might just work. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by David K. Barnes and directed by Amani Zardo. This episode was written by Octavia Bray. It was edited by Nico Vitese, Lori Ann Davis, Catherine Seaton, and Catherine Rinella, with scoring by Sam Jones. Today's episode features Ryan Hopevere Anderson, Kazim Tosin Amore, Sarah Lambi, Lara Sawalha, Beth Eyre, Andy Seacombe, Aaron Lewis Cadogan, Harry Roebuck, Ellie Dickens, and Sarah Aga. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is produced by Natalie Winter, Catherine Lindemann, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at The Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook or email us at mail at RustyQuill.com. Thanks for listening.